one. Okay. Yeah. Let's go from one notorious game to another. New England and Indianapolis. The last time these two teams met, one word for you people. Deflate gate. Andrew Luck is 0-4 against Tom Brady. New England is favored by seven and a half points. Skip, what do you make of the spread? Stephen A. Smith, you're going to be surprised, possibly, by my answer here. I think it's too high in favor of the New England Patriots. And I know many, many people out there right now are scoffing at me, if not laughing out loud at me. This is the classic trap spread which leads to trap game. This is the classic case of everybody says syndrome. When everybody says this is going to happen, when everybody believes that the Patriots will embarrass once again Andrew Luck and company on their home field, the opposite happens. We've done it a couple of games already this year. Eagles at Jets. Remember I said everybody is saying, everybody is saying that the Jets are going to embarrass the Eagles, if not, take Sam Bradford out, and you know what happened. So in this case, I'm not predicting an upset here. I'm still saying that New England will win the game, but I'm going to say it's going to be closer at this moment, reserving the right to change, it's only Tuesday, but I'm going to say it's much closer than the seven and a half point spread, and here's why. One year ago, in Indianapolis, it was a little bit later in the season, mm -hmm. on a Sunday night also, mm -hmm. The Colts that you have picked to go to this year's Super Bowl, they were favored by three against Brady and company. So now they're underdogs by seven and a half, so it's a ten and a half point swing all the way over to Brady and company. Why? Well, obviously Andrew Luck is fighting a banged up mm -hmm. shoulder and we're not sure what the deal is, but he supposedly practiced, full participant in practice, so I'm going to guess or bet Andrew Luck is going to play, and I think he'll be capable of playing on Sunday night at home. So we look at everybody is saying that this is Tom Brady on a 2007 memorial mission to get even with the National Football League. This yeah. is Tom Brady psycho on a mission, Tom. yeah, psycho Tom, to deflate mm -hmm. every opponent by a running up score. And he's tried it. We saw it against Jacksonville. He got to 51. I think he was trying to run it up against Dallas, and he just couldn't. But they did get to 30. They've been averaging 40. And you would think that with an average score of those four games that Andrew Luck has lost to Tom Brady, the average score has been 47 to 18. The odds would tell you this is going to be another 47 to 18 game. But then I look at Andrew Luck. And even though I, I call him a turnover machine because he has eight total turnovers, in the three games that he's played. Obviously, Hasselback came in and saved the day for them with two narrow wins, obviously, against Jacksonville and pulling out at Houston. And they're three and two, so they're still barely afloat. Mm -hmm. Andrew Luck is coming back. All of his weapons, to my knowledge, are pretty much intact now. T.Y. Hilton, Moncrief, Fleener, yeah. Andre Johnson finally yeah. had, mm -hmm. had a rise and shine game at, yeah. at, at Houston, had two touchdown catches. The defense is okay. It's it's not terrible. They're they're tied for 18th in points allowed, so they're not like the worst defense. They're just kind of a middle of the pack defense. Right. And again, it's a team that a whole lot of people, other than you, like to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying seven and a half point favorites are the Patriots on the road at the Indy just because of past history and what we think Tom Brady is doing right. to the NFL. Mm -hmm. right. It's just too many. Right. The, the Colts are still too good. They're well, still a pretty good football team with well, with an occasionally very good quarterback who just hasn't cleaned up his right, act right, yet. Right. Well, you know what? I, I appreciate your sincerity. This this beautiful Academy Award winning I thought it was great, that you're putting actually. forth. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. It's I'm extremely I, convincing I, I, and, I will and 100% I, I authentic. Don't I appreciate the fact that you did not inform me when you went to Hollywood to take acting classes because this is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see here. You're trying to act like me? you are actually concerned that you actually really believe the game is going to be close when you and your heart of hearts have been waiting for this game for months because you've primarily blamed the Indianapolis Colts along with Roger Goodell the for all the things that transpired. But suddenly as the game approaches, this is the classic What's trap he doing? game, Stephen. No, it is a beautiful... I I know this man. What's it is a doing? beautiful, beautiful acting performance because, well, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. This is what the guy is doing. Okay. Skip is sitting back and he's saying, we're going to get him. <laughs> we're going to get him. You know, how dare they do this yeah. to us? They tried to sit there and take the season away from Tom Brady. Go 
get them. Make them pay. That's what Skip Bayless uh -huh. is doing. But on national TV in front of everybody, he has to give the impression. I'm very, very concerned. I think this game is going to be far closer than anybody thinks. Don't you all be fooled. So then when New England blows them out Monday, hey. I said it was going to be close, but in my heart of hearts, I knew that Tom Brady was going to make them pay. That's all Skip's doing here. Don't even fall for it. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half point favorite, Skip. Seven, 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 you did seven and a half point favorite, Skip. Mm -hmm. I got news for you. That's not a blowout. You trying to tell me it's not conceivable that the New England Patriots can win 28-20? They'd still cover. So I don't think it's too large of a number at all. That's okay. not a blowout to me. So when you've got a seven and a half, if you're seven and a half point favorites, I don't consider that to be that big of a deal. Because I think that's something that New England can and will easily cover. Now, do I think that it will be a blowout? Here's the only reason why I will subscribe to your phony position, which mm -hmm. is authentic on my part. Mm -hmm. The fact that you've got a Frank Gar averaging, mm -hmm. the fact that you have a Frank Gore mm -hmm. averaging 4.3 yards a carry. That's pretty good. And he's very experienced, yeah. and he's got a lot of guts. Okay. And you're going up against a New England defense. Yeah. You understand they that they, the you can yeah. run on them. Sure. You can run on them. So yeah. that's an issue. So that's, okay. a, that's an Keep issue talking. in Indianapolis' favor. Keep going. When I look at the Indianapolis Colts' wide receivers, it's T.Y. Hill and averaging 10 receptions a yeah. game. It's uh, 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 Dante Moncrief mm -hmm. averaging more than seven receptions a game. It's Andre Johnson, even though he just had seven of his 27 receptions mm -hmm. last week against okay. Houston. Keep going. He's got 27. You've uh, got like Fleener. It. He's yeah. got it. Kobe, so who's, I, who's Andrew Luck's favorite? Kobe, Kobe Fleener. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. All I'm saying to you is that I can understand anyone who makes mm -hmm. the argument that it's going to be close. Here's why I think the Patriots are going to win by a minimum of 14 points. Okay. A minimum of 14 points. I'm looking at it from this perspective. It's not about the existence of the flake gate, mm -hmm. the fact that it happened. It's not even about the fact that the Colts were the quote unquote rats to mm -hmm. use your mm -hmm. to use your word. Or we can call them whistleblowers. Red, red, whistleblowers, whistleblowers, fine. whatever. Yep. What I really, like rats. I like rats. What, what, yeah. what really, what really, really resonates with me mm -hmm. is the reality that that's all anybody's going to mm -hmm. be talking about this week leading up to the game. Mm -hmm. It's one thing if it was the past and you're just talking about a football game. But the fact that everyone is going to be talking about this, and that's all they're going to be talking about, leading in the Sunday's game, mm -hmm. yeah. that's to, that to me mm -hmm. is when Tom Brady is at his greatest. Mm. That to me is when... Now, if you talk about Tom Brady, well, your team is, is, is a juggernaut and you're the number one passing offense in the, in, in the NFL, and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. That's entirely different. You can get to Tom Brady then. But when you annoy him because you have villainized him yeah. mm -hmm. all week long and you are the primary target, you are the cause of this, mm -hmm. you are the instigator mm -hmm. of this, and he has an opportunity to go up against you, it's mm -hmm. another ball game. Perfect example, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not a perfect example, but I'm just going to crystallize it. You remember how you keep pointing out what Tom Brady did to that, that, that cornerback from the Steelers years ago when he was, he was chirping Smith, about Tom Brady yeah. Smith, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't do that about Hardy. Do you know why he didn't do that about Hardy? Because even if you rip the defense to shreds, the fact that Hardy could hit you and he doesn't have to really contend with you yep. is why it makes no sense to go at Hardy. Because I'm the quarterback, I'm defenseless, I'm back there looking to throw the ball, and this guy has just open season at me because my offensive line can't block him. Well, that's not somebody. But if Hardy had been a cornerback, yep. oh, story. it would have been a different story. It would have been a different yeah. story. So I'm looking at the Colts, mm -hmm. and I'm saying... Okay, I look at these guys, I look at the Patriots, I think they rank like 20th against the run defensively. I think Gore and those boys are going to be able to run. I think the combination of T.Y. Hill with Andre Johnson and those boys, the experience is going to help you. Keep but talking. ultimately, in the end, you have a Colts defense mm -hmm. that I don't believe is going to have an answer mm -hmm. for what the Patriots are going to throw at them while the Patriots defense is opportunistic, mm -hmm. fully capable of making plays at the most opportune times mm. and I think the combination of those two things will have the game close for a little while but I think ultimately they pull away and I think the Patriots are going to win this game along the lines of 40 to 21. 40 to 21 by 19 points. But I, that's so what I'm wait, predicting wait but I'm saying it's I'm, a minimum I'm, I'm of 14. I'm having a hard time here. 
Aren't we still talking about Andrew Locke, for, you know, Locke first ballot Hall of Famer? You've told me again and again, you've beaten me down with the fact that he's already a superstar. How many seasons have Tom Brady played? I don't care. We're talking about Andrew Locke. What I'm saying he's to you is fourth. that what I'm saying to you is Andrew Luck is in his yep. fourth year. Yep. I believe he's going to have a career spanning 18 well, to 20 well, years. How long is the honeymoon? Seven years? Well, eight years? I don't call ten it a honeymoon. Years? Maybe I, ten. Maybe he needs it, double I, digits. I don't, I don't and then we'll start I, saying I don't call it maybe we should evaluate him well, more carefully. I don't call it a honeymoon when I I was just on the record last week saying that it was a poor performance, you know, a couple of weeks ago yeah. by him. He hasn't looked like mm -hmm. himself, and he needs to stop turning the damn ball over. I've said that. Mm -hmm. We all know that Andrew Luck can play better, that he was turning the ball over entirely too much, that he was hurting his team, mm -hmm. and that Matt Hasselbeck has looked good yeah. as mm -hmm. his replacement, even though there is no quarterback controversy like some people I know would bring up. Who would? Okay, you. So the point you is, know, is that... We also don't know if Luck is completely healthy. Say what? We also don't know if no, Luck well, is completely I, healthy. I don't know. Wait, if play if Hasselbeck's playing, then I think the Colts should be favored in this game. But that's Stop just me. It. Go ahead. Stop Keep talking. You know, you, 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 you yeah. know what? You, the, listen, when you're joking, Have some when you, conviction when you're joking with America, Andrew Luck. you need to Andrew say Luck that is you're your joking. Guy. You need okay? to say. We, don't, we can't tell you know that you're joking. They, they looked way better with Matt Hasselbeck. They turned it over zero in two straight games. So what? He, he has just no because they look, Just because they look better with Matt Hasselbeck over two games doesn't make him a better quarterback well, than Andrew Luck. I want you to Luck. back this man with some conviction. Well, I you think should, that Andrew so, Luck is... So you're telling me he's going to lose again 40-21 to 21 with his loss surprised. by an average I wouldn't score be surprised. 47 I wouldn't to 18? Be surprised. I still expect okay. him to make the playoffs, and I still expect Andrew Luck, when all is said and done, <laughs> when, when, when I probably ain't going to have any more here, and I'm going to be close to 60, Andrew Luck would have been in the league 12 to 15 mm -hmm. years, and he'll be en route to a Hall of Fame career. Mm -hmm. And obviously, he will have a Super Bowl championship by that time as well, as long as Grigson and those boys start getting the right mm -hmm. pieces around them. Okay, who sat right here in this chair on a football Friday and said, you know, I think the Eagles are going to go to the Jets and upset them. Who said that? That was you. That was me. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And that was way against the grain. Yeah. That's a laughable pick. Am I yeah. right? I'm sitting here now, not saying that the Colts are going to win, but I, I kind of like the Colts plus 7.5 at home. With, with your pride on the line, you've been embarrassed by this team, you've been humiliated by this team four straight times, and Andrew Luck will finally walk into a football game with zero expectations. I don't he know. had expectations maybe, in the playoff game maybe, at Fox Maybe Sport. I've gone too far with the 40, but I firmly believe that the New England Patriots will win this game by at least 14 points. Okay, you've gone from 19 to 14. Well, I said 14 okay. first. All right. We just but don't I know what luck point. is going to show sure. up. We haven't seen the real Andrew Luck at right. all this season. We Fair? haven't? No. Well, who was that guy at Buffalo in the Stop opener? It. Who was that guy? Stop it. Wait, are you saying that, that he's just been in a slump? Or what are we he saying? He has been in a slump. Oh, okay. And he's been okay. banged up. Well, maybe he'll emerge from a slump this weekend. I don't know. All right. We'll see. Yeah. All we'll right. See.